Hey guys, Shafir here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna do something that I haven't shown, actually to be honest, but I'm gonna draw a new traditional neon fan art of probably one of my favorite characters of all games that I have played, Talizora Vas Narmandi from Mass Effect. Truth to be told, I love drawing Tally and I honestly lost count of how many Tallies I have drawn so far, but that's a totally different story. So I just have to be honest, this video is not sponsored, this is just me, I'm gonna use some materials, I'm gonna tell you which materials that I'm using and will try my best to give links to all of them in the description below, so yeah. One of the first things that I do usually is prepping my working space and this time on the background I'm watching something as well by when I'm drawing. Usually when I'm drawing uh, I'm listening to music or watching something on the background just to hear, to have some kind of a noise. But that's a whole different story. I think everyone is having that kind of a you need to hear something that makes you laugh, but also to not distract you too much from what I'm doing. Or that's just me. Anyhow, I cannot explain how much lo I love to draw Tali, but honestly, this video is not about that. Uh, you're gonna see me draw my, in my traditional watercolor mixed media neon. And. This is the first time actually I show that in a video like that. So I'm using Neva palette, uh, my custom palette, which is also having the pastel colors and not the pastel colors. I love those uh, colors from Neva palette because they're so vibrant. The opacity of the pigment is amazing and it's just fitting for what I'm doing in general. The other materials that I'm using in this video is the liquid watercolors from Ecoline. I love them, honestly. I think these are one of my favorite watercolors that I'm having besides uh, the colors from Neva Palette. And also one other brand that I actually forgot the name, <laughs> to be honest, but I will search it and will add it in the description. Sadly, uh, this particular brand is no longer available in the art shop that I'm buying some of my materials. So I have to figure out how to order them and to find from where I can order them. So I would definitely have to make a search for that someday but that being said I also use power rubens uh, for one particular color because it's fitting for what I'm doing because this time I'm drawing Tally with her alternative uh, outfit from Mass Effect 3 uh, from the trilogy and I think it's going pretty well also, I'm using um, dry pastels. I love using dry pastels and I actually love to use that kind of a mixed media to build up the colors when I'm going through the painting. And honestly, now that I'm lo uh, looking out the video when it's done, I'm so happy and I was like, oh, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, but I'm actually not done because I know what's going on further. Is that kind of weird? Anyhow, truth to be told, I have so much fun making those colors and honestly, this is probably one of my to go to materials every single time when I'm having an art book or something like that and I just want to kind of a vent if you like just grab a piece of paper, usually I'm using Fabriano uh, paper but in a separate color that I'm using currently in, for this painting and just draw something 
most of the time it's not only fan art, just to be clear, but I love how the colors, when I'm done, pop out from that paper and it's giving it so much vibrancy and you're just looking nice. And by the end of the video, I hope you enjoy the process of me drawing this. So I'm gonna shut up for a bit and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. adding some of the final touches that I'm feeling like okay now it's going where I want it I was like what I'm missing in the end and one of the things that I definitely love to add and especially for Tali it's totally fitting is the gold acrylic paint that is giving so much vibrancy and so much more um, if you, if you like um, good looks, you know, and it's something that is me, you know, just the way I present the colors, the way I want to present my art in general. So that's it. And after I finish it, it's one of the favorite things to do. It's to rip out the masking paper because Let's be honest, that's so satisfying. But that's it, guys, for me. After I did that, my whole hands were with colors. You're gonna see them in a bit. And I hope you liked this video. If you do, please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you want to see more videos, give it a thumbs up to this one and, and subscribe to the channel. And if you like what I'm doing in general, I will leave the links to all of my social media in the description below. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.